Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn to handle the radio and the checkboxes. So let's begin. So first let's understand what is the difference between the radio boxes and the checkboxes. So for this example let me go to the browser here and we will be using this demoqa.com slash automation dash practice dash form. So in this form you will see that we have a different fields here. So this is basically a student registration form where you have to fill your name, last name, email, gender and here you have options. So these are basically known as the radio options. So at once you can select only one options from the given options. Okay. So you can either select male, female or you can go with the other. Okay. And when we talk about the checkboxes here, so these are the checkboxes and checkboxes are different in the sense that you can check the multiple options here either you can check multiple options you can uncheck multiple options so this is a basically a difference between the radio options and the checkboxes so now let's go to the visual studio code and see how we can work with these so simply go here and let me create one more file here and let me name it as radio button dot spec dot js and let me copy previous code from here let me paste it here the first thing we need to change the test title here so let me change it to handling radio button and the second thing is that we need to change the url let me copy this from here and let me go back here and paste it here now let me remove this line we don't need this one as of now the first thing we need to do is that we can use different ways here the first thing is that we can use a click option here we can use a check method here so we can use both of those so we will learn with both of these so simply let me go back to this form here and let me go to this mail option okay so let me go here go to inspect here and I am using the selector sub here and here I will you know find the locator of this particular gender which is male here and so this is a relative x path so let me copy this one here let me go back here and now await then page dot locator and here we need to provide the locator and what I can do is that I can use here a click method here to select this radio option. So this is a one way here and let me save this one and now let me run this test here. So simply I need to provide the name of the test here. So the name of the test here is handling radio button so this command is very simple so npx playwright test dash g name of the test then i'm running it in the headed mode so let's enter here and see what happens so it should work here uh, because the click method also works in the for the radio boxes and the check boxes so it should click on the mail here so let's see so test got passed so we haven't seen because uh, the execution was quite fast here so what i do is that let me go to any of my previous tests and let me copy this wait for from here and now let me paste it here save it here and now let's run this one again and see what happens so it should select the mail radio option and let's see so it should select the meal here yes the meal got selected here and the click method is working here so this is the one way of doing it now other way is basically using a you know using a check method here as well so what i'll do is, is that i will copy this one and paste it here and instead of meal here i will go with the female here but let me go here and check and inspect this one so let me go here 
Let's see this one and here so this is uh, this one uh, we need to copy from here and go back here and paste it here and now this time we will not be using a click method here simply we will be using a check method here and first it will check the male radio option then it will check the female option here so let me save this one here and let me run this again so it should work here in this case as well and uh, it will open the website it will go to this particular radio option first it will select the male then it will go to the female so yes it selected the female here and so both click and check are working here so as we know that we can only select one option from here and we can also cannot do a uh, uncheck here okay so now uh let me create one more file here and name let me name it as checkboxes.spec.js and let me copy this whole bunch of the code from here and paste it here and handling radio buttons i will go with the checked boxes okay and here um, again let me go to this website here similarly we can even use a click here so let's suppose if i want to check this sports okay and here let me copy this relative x path here and now what i need to do is that simply i need to provide this one here okay and the second thing is basically using a check method so i need to go back here and let's suppose i need to check this music as well so let me inspect this one here and this is a relative x bar let me copy from here let me go back here and let me paste it here so let me save this one and now let me run this one so let me copy the name of the test from here and go back here and here i need to provide the name of the test here so simply press enter so it will execute this particular test and it should select both sports and the music so with click and with the check method here as well so let's see what happens here so you see that both sports and music got selected or checked here now what i lose that i can now uncheck this one here so for this one what i'll do is that simply i'll copy this one here and let me paste it here and here we have a method called uncheck dot uncheck okay and now let me save this one so sports will be checked first okay using the a click click method then we would be you know checking the second checkbox which is music then we are unchecking the you know sports and finally what i'll do is that we can also uncheck using the click method again so let's run this one first and see what happens here so let me run this one here and see what happens here so at the end we should have only the music checkbox selected here so it should go here on the page select the both then uncheck the sports and see what happens here so you see that only the music has been checked and the sport is now unchecked here so even now what we will do is that we can uncheck using a click method here so what i'll do is that instead of uh, this one here what i'll do is simply let me go here and i'll provide the click method here and let me save this one here and now let's run this again so click method again will work as for unchecking this one so it will go here check them first and then uncheck this particular sports checkbox so yes it's working absolutely fine here so using both click 
check and uncheck methods you can work with the checkboxes now there's one more thing is regarding uh, you know regarding the checkboxes is the assertions so we haven't learned the assertions as of now so when we will learn about the assertions so what we will do is that we can check that either uh, the particular particular checkbox is got checked or not okay we can put assertions on this so uh, what we will do is that once we will learn how to handle the different basic elements and then we will have a session on the assertions where we will put assertions on these different files here thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial